Happy Sunday. I'm just reflecting, just thinking about everything as a whole. You know, I like to let people know I'm not the same person yesterday. Sometimes I'm not the same person two minutes ago. So however I felt two months ago, three months ago, five months ago, people change. You know, especially when you've been hurt. Especially when you open up a part of you, you're not going to be the same person. Even if you look like the same person, walk like the same person, mentally we become, you know what I'm saying? So communication is key. Not all the time I like to communicate. Not all the time I like to be vulnerable. Not all the time I like to really open up that part of me. But when I do open up that part of me, it's very important for anyone and everyone to listen and take heed to it. Simply because many times I'm giving you a warning. I'm giving you a sign. I'm giving you something that you can't say you didn't know. Many times we get involved, we talk with people, we surround ourselves with people, and we don't even let them know, hey, we got allergies. Hey, if you step on my foot, I may kick you. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like communication is key. But the worst thing I always tell people, the worst thing with me is to ignore me. I do understand Silence is always a response, right? It is. But at the end of the day, the reason why things happen the way they happen, y'all, my allergies is crazy. The reason why a lot of things happen the way they happen is because of miscommunications, because of lack of communication. And a lot of times people feel how they feel is because they weren't communicated to. They had to go every day, 24 hours. It's a long time to be thinking, especially if you're not talking to that one person you need to talk to about a situation. So after a while, all your thoughts, you know, you can't really talk to everybody about things too because they're not going to even understand your situation or even why are they becoming of. And a lot of people may say to you, do this and do that. But at the end of the day, everyone's doing something that the next person wouldn't do, right? So we tolerate what we want to tolerate and people do what you allow. So at the end of the day, let's communicate. Let's talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, that's cool too. But don't get mad. Don't get upset. Don't fret if you made your own bed. You made your own bed on how you want it to go. A lot of people have, they have the ball. You have the ball the whole time. Like Kobe, stay taking the ball. You have the ball. But I just feel like if I want to protect my heart, I'm going to protect my heart. I believe in protecting my peace. Once I realized how to protect my peace, I ran there. So if I have to forget who you are, if I have to forget everything like nothing ever happened to protect me so I won't be hurting inside. Because you could have been that same person that was holding me. You could have been that same person that was comforting me. And you can also have been that person that took the comfort away from me. You could have been the same person that went from loving me to hating me. The same person that was communicating with me, giving me lack of communication. You could have been all of this at one time. I have to learn how to protect it. So if I have to say whatever I have to say to heal, to move forward. And many times it's in a positive light for myself is not degrading to put you down, but it's like, if you didn't care enough to reach out to me, then why am I caring for someone who doesn't care? That's kind of crazy, you know? Like, you don't stop completely caring for somebody you really care for. That's what they call unconditional. So, I can still care for you and care for myself more because at the end of the day, self-love is the best love. You got to love yourself. If I don't love myself, I can't love you. So if I have to do whatever I got to do to protect myself, my mind, I'm going to do it. It may seem confusing. It may get you mad. But imagine the time that you let go by not communicating with me. Everyone, you got to protect your peace. You got to make sure you okay. Because if you can't make sure you okay, who going to make sure you okay? Who? I really wish growing up people focused on teaching people what self-love is and not worrying about how people judge you. You know, miscommunication is just, it's, it's, it's crazy. Miscommunication is just off the chain right now. And I don't really think everyone wants to be understood at times. I think people like to... They like the attention it gets them. But I am most likely moving into a different mental zone now that I had to be 
and surround myself with people who want my attention. I want to surround myself with people who understand, okay, she felt like this because of that versus, oh, forget this person and that person because anything I ever felt was always real. It was always real. But I also had to learn how to protect my heart because people do what you allow. And a lot of people don't want you to be successful. A lot of people don't want you to be happy. And a lot of people are going through their own childhood traumas. They're going through their own traumas and they put it out on you. You know, I, I'm only one person. And at the end of the day, I don't have people checking on me like that. I don't have family members lined up and saying happy birthday to me when it's my birthday. I don't have people congratulating me when I graduate. I don't have people saying, hey, do you have something that you eat? Did you get up? I know you've been in pain from a car wreck some years ago. Are you all right? Do you need a ride somewhere? Anything and everything I need, I do for myself. And this is not no sympathy or empathy the empathy type of situation because sometimes when you tell people stuff they feel like oh you know I don't want it I don't want it because I feel like if it doesn't come natural then don't give it to me especially if I told you or you know anything about my life story and you still not there for me you're not helping me and you watching me fall I feel like you're watching me fall if I ever told you anything about my life because my life is not normal how I was raised doesn't make any sense and that's why I'm trying to finish this book to send to y'all it's gonna be an ebook and I'm gonna make it an official book when I do find me a good artist that I like that illustrates because I want to bring back bookmarks and books I want to bring back pictures and books I want to bring back the sequels that make you want to get on the tip of your toes and be like oh when is the next one coming out I want to bring all of that back because I'm a reader I love to read and I love me some books oh my eyes I'm gonna take my allergy medicine soon y'all and I just want to bring this to y'all because communication is top notch it's top notch you guys and I know I'm not the best person. I like to tell people I'm not the best person, but I am that person. You know what I'm saying? If you need someone, I am that ideal person. I have a beautiful soul. I have a beautiful heart. God loves me. My name literally means God's gift, but I do understand that God will take people out of your life. However, he needs to take them out of your life. So sometimes you don't understand why things happen and there's a shift. And I'm no longer going to be holding on to people longer than I'm supposed to. Because when you hold on to people longer than you're supposed to, that's when things happen to you. It's like it's like holding on to expired milk. Hold on to anything that expired. Are you going to eat it? You see all that mold on it? Are you going to still mess with it? Oh, you liked it when you bought it, but it's not the same anymore. So it's okay to let go. Sometimes it hurts to let go. And at the end of the day, I always like to say to people that a man finds a wife. A man finds a wife and the sperm goes to the egg. The egg never goes to the sperm. So if you like me, if you want me, if you want to talk with me, that's how I like to look at things, even though it may hurt that the situation's not going the way you want it to go. I'd rather someone deal with me. I'd rather someone mess with me. I'd rather someone communicate with me, reach out to me, knowing what they want versus they confused. So I like to let, let people and anyone get their space. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Y'all have a happy Sunday. Y'all know how to reach me. I'm going to put all my stuff how to get at me. Y'all email me. Y'all book y'all sessions with me. I know school's going to be coming up for me on the 25th, so my hours are going to change change soon based on anyone who wants to get it, get any live coaching sessions because I am a life coach, you guys, first and foremost. So get at me. Put some comments down there. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Share this to a friend. Share this. Share it. Share it. Share it. I was just laying here and I said, you know what? I'm not going to beat my face or have my hair any type. I just took my hair down. I'm still taking my hair down. I just want to talk to y'all. So hopefully you focused on the message and heard me. I want to make sure y'all hear me because many times people don't think about your mental health. Your mental health is worth everything your peace of mind is everything and a lot of people don't talk about mental health awareness and that's what saddens me and hurts me because people rather fight and bring people down than to give people that love and i want to say this one more time you know how some people be like i know i didn't say nothing but i'm trying to tell you i'm the worst person to ignore because every time someone ignores me, I'm that I'm that person. You ignore me, you're going to need me even more. You're going to wonder why you waking up thinking about me. You're going to wonder why you can't push me to the side. I'm that person. You just don't ignore. You know what I'm saying? I, I just want to say that again. I'm just, I'm just not that person because I got a good heart. 
I got a good heart. Y'all have a happy Sunday. I'm going to try to come out with something for Monday. If not, I gave y'all some motivation today. God bless you guys. Like, subscribe, share. Mwah. Caramel kisses.